Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm saying hello to everyone. We have another recipe on the Barry Femme show again. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't hit the if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button and join the Barry Femme family. Okay, my dear Siwani, today you give me Atlanta new. Ah, and you give some hard work. We're learning, yeah. We're learning. I'm not going to move in. I'm not going to move in. Ni ma bari fem a dan yo dole li def yo xamne nak daf ñu neex mënuma dara nak lu nak je baxé jox la xéti baax baax li jëlé ko américain nak yobanté mako bi fi awma nak dara lu di dara nak yu bessi yi dal ñew na nak dara gan bu bessi té ko ci wañu bari fem nga ni loli la bu nga déké our recipe today is a um, grilled fish a very special mediterranean style grilled fish and this recipe is very famous secret recipe and i'll be sharing that today with you mokay ngir ngir ma xamé ci fem bi sa chaska sa togu xalé nga ma ñëwati rek isi leen tay nak ñu am sun em gën grill gën bo xamné mom ma sha allah you would love it so you need to try this nga xamné nak mom ko ci nek share in the comment section what you think of the recipe this is a must try ak ni ma len ko faral di defé bo essayer rek yi nga lal bo fa bi ne sa togu xalé bala ay ci ci bir bari fem kichi ni ko faral di defé guys so we have our ingredients here and i'll just be giving you a better view of the ingredients muy sun arsenal ya xeti baax baax yi ngeen ñew nak mëna gis nak pour ñu xam nak lan la ñoy use what we're going to use to season the um, fish bear in mind that the fish is going to be seasoned is just because we're going to be grilling it in the oven so it we need to season it up a bit to give it that good nice taste Right. So these are our ingredients. First of all, what we're going to be using for the seasoning, if you have green seasoning of your choice, that's going to be the base we're going to be using. We're just going to keep it simple and natural because it's fish as well, so we don't need too much seasoning before it spoils the natural taste of this fish. By the way, I'm using sea bream. You can use red snapper or sea bream. Any fish of your choice. So me, sun dwa lum jen bi li mun neng ko mun neng ko oye chof na ko len ame chof red snapper. Me snapper jen yo hong hayo yung ham neng nak safla def be dega japa jamuram. Yo yu yep mun neng ko yu sili. So we need garlic. This is coriander seeds and black pepper, and that's our green seasoning. That's some parsley. We have just a little bit of spring onions. I'll add rosemary. Bay leaf is important. What is your fish seasoning without bay leaves? It's actually a flavor enhancer and it's really nice for your fish. This is some smoked paprika. So you can get this smoked paprika. And this is some mixed herbs. So it's oregano. You, it's, it depends on you. Uh, you can use any mixed herbs of your choice. I'll add some thyme. It doesn't hurt because we have to spice it up. <laughs> wow, okay. We soon hit it. Arsenally, you can use some persi. Onion vert, rosemary, am laurier, fin am sun paprika, am sun um, espice mélangé, ak fin sun thé. Thé bi po bar gangi ni grain de coriander ak el, mi sun lach. Alright guys, so we're going to start with the tradition as usual, start with pouring some lemon on the fish. This is to make sure all the flavors we're going to seasoning in season we we're going to be using for the seasoning to infuse nicely in the fish. So and we drizzle some salt on top as well. Let's get left some lemon, my citron, axel. With the salt and lemon, in order to season it nicely and get the best flavor out of the fish. You cannot miss this part. Start trying it with your fish and tell me what you think. Voila. I use my all time say favorite. Himalayan pink. So we're going to move on to blend all the seasoning in here. So I'm just going to be chopping it. If you have a blender, just use your blender. But as you know, just promoting the African culture. So I'll be using a mortar and a pestle. 
Voila. Wash our hands. So they babala. Gani? Okay. So I'm just going to put this here and I'll blend it first, then show you what to do next. Voila, voila, voila. So we have actually blended this into a nice paste, and what we're going to do is we're going to add it to this bowl. So this is some mustard. I'm going to be adding mustard there. I like to use Dijon or English mustard. Wow. Now to no tart. We've got some olive oil here and I added a bit of fish oil so it's up to you. You can use only olive oil or you can use fish oil as well. But you need quite a few tablespoons of olive oil, about four to five teaspoons to make it into a nice paste. Look at this. So you can see Yes, yes. So, il bing say definitely, moi tak mo don nak di bayan de koni. Yes, yes. Moi diulin bi. We're going to add some lemon to it. It's a flavor enhancer. It's not gonna be too tangy, so it's okay. This is just one lemon. I'm using the other half. I first added the first half to the fish, and I'll be using another half. Yes, yes. You definitely mo. M. Yes, na nak si jen bi nga toga num sakane. So de jen bugi na sakan la reg mun ga def nyari lemon wai. This is enough for me. Oh la la. Magnifique. Beautiful. Finish the olive oil. This is some soy sauce. Muy soy. You have some soy sauce. I'll put everything on the screen anyway, so. This is just to give it a nice color. Can you see? You don't need a lot. You can even add just two teaspoons. But it's just to ensure it has a nice color for the fish. Can you see? This is the consistency we're looking for. So it's very, very, this, the oil gives it. Right guys, so you can see we've mixed this paste into this beautiful texture. And this is the consistency we want. So we're just going to add some salt to it. You can add, um, stock seasoning of your choice but this time around I just want to add to keep it natural I just want to add my all time favorite pink hamas so make sure you rub it in between the lines you've um, traced the fish with and marinate it fully right guys so everything is done 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 Look at this, so spicy and nice. So what I'll be doing, I'll put it on the tray. But first of all, like you know, we're full of surprises. I'll be showing you something else. Harlem, aksi fembi. You said nak la nai sun fem, nak la nyo giri le sun jen. Wah muna jeh nak film ne kan dikunah wah dafa fren ko life of na ben na yon rek kon. Dan nak wah nak mugi fren ko life, film ne nyo jeh ban dafa nak li jeh jeh li do muna do. So we're going to be adding the fish. This is some Mediterranean style vegetables. That's the zucchini. We've got some bell peppers here and red onions. Red onion is a flavor enhancer. I always emphasize that in my videos. So make sure you introduce it to your kitchen. Aisha. Whoa, wait a minute. Yes, again. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil, a bit of a tuss, and that's it. Right, so let's put the fish here. Okay, yes, and which you buy that animal and call here top and then carby beam sis, but to be me ring and took me with top of all. Nakata me, Munu Pusante, Mombe MC Baraj, Banya Pusante. 
so right guys you can see that I've just got the remaining seasoning and I put it in a bowl add a little bit of oil a tiny tiny bit of oil and lemon and just drizzle it on top of the fish well okay you didn't like marinade with this like the Korean music or Jenga our dunya medefet purlan right so moving on to the prawns we've got our king prawns here I'm just going to be adding black pepper this is the black pepper and coriander seeds I blended but you can just add black pepper well you have some purple we purple that's the pima we soon cani scotch bonnet pepper we've got ginger here I just use a tablespoon because we need a bit of the ginger just again a whole tablespoon of ginger muji chamber ale soya sauce and this liquid maggi seasoning I always love to use this when I'm seasoning my prawns because it gives it that nice taste when you fry it so it depends on you you can fry it or if you want to you can grill it but I want to fry it today so samasa crevetti in this nedef nasu ma eel we soy sauce we def si eel di jambal we ginger lach kani budija poba lenen lo si yoka ya hako that's perfectly fine we'll put this on the side and we're going to be frying everything and I'll show you the end results yola Done, done, done. Make sure you turn the fish and grill it nicely. Don't leave it to be over dry. So look at this. Right guys, so you can see that this is the remaining fish. Oh, it's not Mediterranean vegetables so we're going to add this juice into the remaining seasoning and then we'll brush it on top of the fish just make sure all those nice fresh flavors give the to give it a bit of a kick again Ooh. yeah that's enough So we put the fronts on top of the veg. Just done, done, done. Our recipe is done, guys. Try out this recipe. I cannot even wait to indulge. It's so colorful and nice. We've got our grilled fish here. And make sure you leave some of the seasoning, mix it with the fish juice, all the juice from the vegetable as well to enhance the flavors and just drizzle it on top. Make it look beautiful, nice and all the prompts on the side, absolutely beautiful. So we can accompany this with our fried caramaris and this is the um, potato chips. So I've just made this nice kale salad and I think you need to introduce this to your kitchen because it's beautiful. It's so fresh, crunchy and nice and healthy for you as well. So try this out and let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay, at Lila Lady Silon Tasty in the Body Fem Kitchen. Linko for all the fete that magin and not yen CN and Hetty that he tam it bam nasi so long I side the def la saf si be sa wine, new nak tearing then a hara madif not to massa fatile again if he a glam pixi nak ne masola sola sa mesh, def no la saf. Defel, defel ale. I eat your civil right hem kitchen. Subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching.